Aries, what's going on, everybody? It's Anne from Cancer Moons Tarot, and I'm coming at you with your mid-October 2022 tarot reading. How are you? I hope y'all are well. And without a further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on into it, and we shall see what is up. What do we got going on here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding mid-October 2022? What information do we got in store here, please, for the Zodiac sign of Aries? How are you guys doing? I hope everybody's well here so far, and uh, we'll see what information we have here for the second half of your October. Starting out here right now with the current energy, or sorry, the overall energy of the read, we do have here the King of Pentacles. So, King of Pentacles coming into play here for you. Very nice card. Represents being grounded. I feel like this is you standing your ground, holding your ground, making sure that you don't crack. Now, I don't know necessarily what's making you feel like you need to hold your ground here. It could be something romance related. It could be something to do with family, something to do with work, whatever it is, right? Because these readings can resonate towards anything friends, family members, or lovers, so take it how it personally does resonate to you, uh, but you're in a space right now where I definitely feel like you're focusing on holding your ground. Uh, so that's the overall energy of today's read. Let's jump on into your current situation now. We do have here a Knight of Cups. We also have the Justice, and then lastly for you, we have the Page of Cups. So let's talk about it. Well, Knight of Cups coming in here for you usually represents action. You know, when you're a Knight of Cups, right? Oh, wrong camera, by the way. Sorry about that, y'all. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> uh, but Knight of Cups coming in here for you, right? It represents action. So this usually talks about action in showing people that you care. So you feel like you showed somebody that you've cared as much as you could. You know, the Justice card showing up here for you is the energy of balance. So you feel like you did everything that you needed to do. I showed somebody I cared. I showed somebody I loved them. I tried to be as balanced and well-rounded as I could, but you're moving from a knight here to a page. So a knight here is offering to somebody specific and wanting to see that growth. A page of cups to me seems more like it's a free market. You know, I'm kind of ready here to open up the options of who I'm going to offer my love and my care to in the future. So it almost seems to me like you're kind of distancing yourself from someone, Aries. And the reasoning behind this is that you're holding your ground. So you're distancing yourself to hold your ground because you did feel like you did kind of everything you could for somebody. And now it's time to see what other options are out there. You know, page of cups over here is like, we're starting new again. It's a page. It's not a knight. A knight wants growth. A page wants to start fresh. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't just have to be about romance. This could be about your friendships. So maybe you and a certain friend are kind of out on the outs right now and you're holding your ground, you're not trying to give in, and you're not trying to do any sort of reconciliation, you know, page of cups, I'm open to new friends, I'm taking new friend requests here at this time. Could be love, though, probably for the majority of you, but it could be anything. Same thing with work. It's like, listen, my job is doing everything in their power right now to try to keep me working at this place. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I'm not going to go ahead and work here when I can open myself up to, uh, different jobs and stuff, especially when I felt like I gave that job my everything. So that seems to be your current situation. Let's see how you're going about it, though. Let's see how you're going to be dealing with your current situation. All right. We do have here the world card moving into the next one for you. We have the three of cups. And then lastly for you, Aries, what do we have in store? And we have here the queen of cups. So world card represents and it marks the ending of a cycle, but it also marks the birth and new beginning of a brand new cycle. So I really feel like you're focused on your personal happiness here. You do got a Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a card that represents joy, it represents happiness, it represents a good time. So right now, Aries, you're pretty much focused on having fun. I feel like it's been a bit of a good distraction for you, especially when it comes towards having to hold your ground here in mid-October. So for you, you're doing everything you can right now to just have fun, to you know stay a little distracted, to hold your ground. And uh, with the Queen of Cups showing up over here, it does feel to me that you know you're pretty open right now to kind of anybody when it comes towards who you connect with. You know, so I do feel like you really are opening up here to new types of connections. I don't feel like you're in a position of time where you want to revert back uh, to whoever you feel like you gave everything to. So that seems to be the case here. I'm just having fun right now. I want to connect with new people. I want to get to know people. I want to have a good time. I don't want to worry about my past. I don't want to worry about whoever the specific person is. So I'm just going to hold my ground. I'm going to distract myself with some good old fun and everything's going to be a-okay. So that seems to be the case here for you so far. Uh, moving along though, let's go ahead and have a look and see what will potentially be coming in here for you throughout your mid-October 2022. So what are some things that will potentially come in here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-October 2022. <laughs> 
<clears throat> excuse me. We got two cards rolling on out here for you. <clears throat> excuse me again. Jesus Christmas. Oh, my God. I apologize, everybody, because <clears throat> allergies are crazy right now. So if I have to clear my throat constantly, I know it's annoying, but bear with me. It would be appreciated. So anyways, looking at what's coming in here for you, six of wands here, two of swords here as well. Interesting. Six of wands is success, but it's also attention. So I would say, Aries, a lot of eyes are going to be on you. If we're talking about love and you are recently a single Aries, there is going to be quite a bit of attention on you. I can say that for sure. OK, so it does feel to me like if you're if you're in the open market for dating, people are going to be interested. Um, I do feel this energy potentially of if you were recently out of a relationship, there could be possibly be a friend uh, who's been interested in you all along and has kind of been waiting for this moment. If that's the case, they may be giving you more attention than usual. And if you're wondering why a certain friend's kind of like up your butt giving you tons and tons of attention, it's probably because they have romantic interest in you and they want to try to pursue that at this time. So if you are, let's say um, you recently went through a breakup and you have a male friend who's kind of been chilling in the background and has been pretty much more um, active than usual, he's been around a lot more, he was probably waiting for the moment to come on in. All right. So for those of you that are single Aries and if you got a male that's kind of up your butt, he probably is interested romantically. OK, so just throwing that out there for a few of you. Either way, though, overall, just here with the six of uh, six of wands card of attention, it does feel like a lot of people are going to have their eyes set on you. So that's what's coming in here for you. Now, two of swords. Two of Swords is interesting because it represents a little bit of conflict. It represents the energy of kind of being stuck between a rock and a hard place. So what will also be coming in here for you is you're going to find yourself at a crossroads. You know, you're doing your best right now to hold your ground to avoid the specific person you're trying to. But in mid-October, it's going to get harder and harder to do that. You know, at first, you're going to feel really good. You're going to feel really confident. You're going to feel like you made the best and the right choice. But then it's going to start to get pretty hard for you to do. It's going to be hard to keep up with it because you kind of start to acknowledge here I really do care about the person I gave my everything to. You know, I really put in a lot of work into this friendship, into this relationship, into this job, and it sucks that that's getting thrown away. You know, when you really start to think about it, you don't want to start new from the page. You want to go back into the night energy and continue growing. And it starts to be a little frustrating here. So it's almost like with all the attention that ends up getting pulled onto you, you start to realize that that attention is not what you care about. What you do care about is the person that you gave everything to. So you start to realize that in due time. Yeah, looking at the last card, you got the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is the card of the truth. Now, the thing is, though, is that despite this being the truth, I do feel like you are still frustrated with the situation you've dealt with. And the Ace of Swords can also be a card that represents cutting and severing ties. So for many of you, you might actually get to that point where you say, hey, despite how I feel, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing that me and this night didn't grow any further. Maybe it's a good thing to start new and to start from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and do everything I can right now to continue detaching from my past situation and just taking a look at the options that I have surrounding me. All right. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and move forward. Give me one moment to clear my throat, everybody. I'd appreciate it. Sorry once again. <coughs> Jesus, it is an interesting day today. Oh, all right. So let's go ahead and have a look here now. We're going to see uh, what you guys can expect now. Or sorry, actually, we're going to see what you're not aware about first. Uh, we're going to take a look here and see some of the things that you might not be aware about this month. Um, and then we'll move into what you can expect throughout the rest of the month. OK, so what are going to be some things here, please, that Aries might not be aware about this month that they should be aware about? regarding October or mid-October 2022, what are going to be some things that Aries need to hear that they're not aware about that they should be aware about throughout mid-October 2022? First card out, we do got here the King of Wands. King of Wands, whoever this is that you've had a uh, detachment with, I definitely feel like there's still a lot of passion. There's still a lot of interest. They are thinking about you. I can definitely allow you or definitely let you know that. Uh, so whoever you're detached from right now, 
still thinking about you heavily, still very interested. They still really want to make things work. Moving into the next card, we got the Seven of Wands, uh, but they're also in a position of time right now where they are doing everything they can to resist you as well. So the both of you are actually mirroring each other because your energy, right, in the beginning, the overall energy being the King of Pentacles, you were doing your best to hold your ground. Same thing with the person that you were previously dealing with. They're mirroring that same exact energy. They're trying to hold their ground as well. Now, we do have the Five of Cups. I can do see a, a lot of disappointment here coming in from who you're dealing with. You know, a lot of disappointment. They're very upset here from what was lost. And looking at one more card, Page of Swords, you know, they're still keeping a close eye on you. They're paying attention. They're looking at possibly, you know, your social media. Maybe they're asking friends about you. Uh, but they're looking into you and they're trying to see how you're feeling throughout all this as well. So I do feel like they're mirroring you in the aspect of trying to resist and to hold their ground. Uh, uh, but I do see that they're, you know, still having tons of interest in you and they're wondering, you know, what's going on, if things are going to get better. You know, they're also wondering here too how you're feeling personally as well. So I can assure you here, Aries, whoever you're detaching from right now, they definitely have you on their mind right now um, all the time for sure. They're definitely thinking about you very, very often. Okay. All right. Let's see what you can expect now throughout the rest of your mid October, 2022. So what can my Aries people expect here throughout the rest of their October Aries, sun, moon, rising Venus throughout the second half of October, 2022. What can they expect to happen? First card out, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles here is a card that usually represents investment. It also represents patience. All right, moving along from that, we do have here the full card. And let's go ahead and get two more cards, which are going to be the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun card. Sorry if you guys can't see them that well being all the way here at the bottom, but I promise you these are the cards we're dealing with. So Seven of Pentacles here, full card, Ace of Pentacles, Sun card. So what you can expect throughout the rest of mid-October, let's start first with the Seven of Pentacles here to the full card. So you can expect to be patient with yourself when it comes towards releasing this situation, whether it's a person, place, or thing, it's gonna take time to fully detach. And I think you're starting to become well aware of that. You know, it's not easy as one, two, three to let go of something you were, or someone you were heavily invested in. You know, it's a situation that takes time. So with the seven of pentacles here to the full card, you're saying to yourself, okay, I gotta be more patient with myself throughout this process of letting go. But Ace of Pentacles here to the Sun card, it's like, despite the fact that I'm going to continue to be patient in letting go, I'm also going to take this opportunity right now just to make myself happy instead. You know, you really feel Aries like you gave this person your all. You really feel like you gave them the world. So for you in this situation, it's like, I want to actually take the time out right now to make myself happy. I want to take the opportunity right now to do right by me and to enjoy myself and to enjoy my life. You know, if I've spent so much time trying to make somebody else happy, I might as well use this time to make my very own self happy. So I think that what you can expect here throughout the rest of the month is that you're not going to cave in, right? The overall energy was King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles said, I'm not backing down, I'm not breaking, I'm not caving in. And, you know, despite the fact of how much you really care about somebody that you gave your all to, and despite the fact of how much they miss you and how much they care about you as well, you're both mirroring each other in resistance. Both of you are holding back. And right now for you, you're saying to yourself, I might as well take the opportunity to just do me while I don't have another attachment. You know, I gave a lot to somebody else. Let me give back to myself and focus on my happiness for a little bit and see how things go. So the situation to me still kind of seems up in the air. It doesn't feel totally official just yet. I think that there could potentially be a chance that maybe somewhere down the line, you and this person resolve your conflict, even if you don't see it now, because as an Aries, you might be saying to me right now, yelling at me through the YouTube video, Ant, you're wrong. I'm done. It ain't ever going to happen again. Listen, you can say that all you want. There is a potential chance, though, uh, that later down the line, you and this person can resolve and work things out. Uh, but for at least the next 15 days for mid-October 2022, I don't feel like that'll be the case. I do feel like the two of you will still be kind of on the outs, and um, you're going to take this time right now to just see what can I do to make myself happy as an Aries and how is it going to be for me? You know? All right. Let's go ahead and have a look here at the overall outcome now. What's going to be the overall outcome here for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-October 2022. What do we got showing up here for the overall outcome? All right. And what do we have? We do have the Eight of Swords, which is the energy of having this person on your mind. And we also have here the Ace of Cups. 
So with the outcome showing up here as the Eight of Swords to the Ace of Cups, I do believe that this person's going to be on your mind throughout this entire process. It's going to be hard to battle this. It's going to be hard to, uh, you know, fight off that feeling of wanting to reach out and wanting to continue growing with the Knight of Cups. You know, it's hard to go from a knight to a page. You know, this is what I was discussing earlier, but I feel like you're still going to have a lot of resilience. I feel like you're still going to be able to resist this and you're going to be able to continue to do your own thing. So I, I won't lie to you. You know, you're going to think about this person or this situation pretty often. And it does feel to me that, you know, with the Ace of Cups, you're doing everything you can to try to fulfill yourself and to make yourself happy. And I think that you're going to succeed in that aspect. I really do, right? We have the Sun card here to the Ace of Pentacles. You're taking the opportunity right now, the second half of the month, to do everything you can to make yourself happy. But I will say this person will still occasionally be on your mind. But I think that right now, what you're prioritizing is you're prioritizing your own happiness and fulfillment over any sort of growth that you can get out of this situation. And that might be the best thing right now, you know? And at the end of the day, Aries, it's always important to do whatever is going to be the best thing for you to do, right? If you feel like doing one thing is within your favor and it's the best thing, do what feels best for you at this time. So I'm, you know, who the hell am I to tell you what's best for you at this time? But what I see you guys doing is I see you focusing on your own fulfillment. And if that's the best thing, then that's the best freaking thing. Okay. So like I said, I feel like uh, things aren't entirely over yet. You might pick up, you know, in the future, you might pick up with this person, uh, whether that ends in a official ending or whether the two of you regrow and move forward. Uh, you know, it's to be continued is what it seems to me. Okay. So things will be up in the air, but what I can say with certainty for the next 15 days, you're going to hold your ground. You're going to do your thing and uh, we'll take it from there. All right. All right, Aries. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's super appreciated. I hope you have a lovely and amazing rest of your October and I will catch you all in the next video. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. And with that being said, Aries, much love to you. Enjoy October and I will see you all later. All right. Take care, everybody and peace.